Hi, Jenny. Hi. How are you? I'm good. How are you? What are you up to? I'm reading. I know. Hi. I thought we'd give everybody a tour of the boat here real quick. Oh, okay. So I'm going to do that. All right. So here we'll start with the galley. Have a nice double sink with the foot pump going on. Hey, water. Back here, Paul built some storage for cups and, well, not cups, but plates, spoons, forks, knives, that sort of thing. And propane valve. Nice ice box in here. Remove the tray. I'm going to get stuck. Of course. Because I'm doing it now, the tray stuck. There we go. Removal tray, it's pretty deep. Has a drain down there right at the bottom. There's a pull out ice bucket you can put the ice in. Keeps it out of everything. There's this crazy, what is that, about four inch thick insulation around the whole thing. So it's supposed to keep ice for quite a while. Three burner gimbal stove, yay! With oven, and the oven also has a grill inside, an infrared grill, which is kind of cool. Haven't tried it yet. Tons of storage. We added an electric water kettle because Jenny likes her tea and coffee, especially coffee. There's this ginormous compartment storage locker sorry I should probably use the boat term right it's got lockers there's a functioning kerosene lamp I haven't lit it yet but it did work port lights on this boat are kind of unique well unique to this kind of boat at least these are by the Cherubini Yacht Company and they have these neat little wedges that either hold the ports open or closed. And it's just a, just a piece of glass in there um, with a drainage channel along the front here. So when it rains, nothing comes inside. It's all draining straight back out the back of the, the, the side of the cabin here, which is kind of nice. Coming back down this way, more lockers. Lots of storage. There's a trash bin down there. There's a neat little gadget over here. I don't know if you can see that. Uh, that opens up the trash bin so you don't have to keep opening doors. Also, not technically part of the galley, but part of the boat itself, is this nice water chest. All of the water for the boat, for the engine, for the head, and for the air conditioning comes in through here. So there's exactly one through hole where water can come into the boat here. That is pretty nice. It also makes it easy to remember to shut everything off because there's only one. I have a companion way ladder. It goes up. There's Jenny, who's still reading. Hi. Back here is engine access and some more little storage gadgets. This whole, well, there, there, this, this whole thing slides out so you can get access to the engine. To do that, you have to take the companionway stairs out, but that's easy. It's just two screws. Anyway, back in here, there's the above water through hole for the exhaust. There is the fuel filters, our fuel filters, two of them, uh, a hanging locker. There's some lights. And this enormous thing right here is the main bilge pump, which is it's a manual pump, um, but its uh, pickup goes all the way down to the to the bottom of the bilge. And, um, and I actually used it today just to there's a little bit of water left in there from storage, so we pumped that out. Everything was good. This neat little compartment, which I'm not going to be able to open while I also hold the camera, uh, it opens up so you can check the oil. Uh, so you don't have to take the whole engine cover off to check the oil. It's right there. Kind of nice. 
We have not yet put the life sling on the stern rail. We need to do that. There we have a nav station or nav desk. Uh, I can't really do this easily, but it does lift up. So there's tons of storage inside there too. Main DC control panel. Uh, the tank tender for reading all the gauges. Which is a neat little uh, principle. You It pressurizes a tube that goes down inside the tank. Then you take the pressure off. And uh, the back pressure tells you how much stuff is in the tank. Uh, energy monitor. Engine hour meter. If you can believe it, this engine has 300, almost 348 hours on it. Uh, which seems pretty low for a boat that was launched in 91, but that's pretty nice. Have a little storage area for some navigation tools, pens, pencils. Uh, this is kind of a catch-all right now. I need to clean that up. I'm sorry. Uh, but it's a convenient place for books and materials and gloves and whatever else. Uh, the radio might eventually get mounted in this area somewhere. Uh, Paul and Marie's builder plate. Some more nav tools and then we come up here into the main salon the only salon the salon two nice settees which is kind of quite comfortable cushions are i don't know if they're brand new but they feel like it. it has a pilot berth which is pretty comfy that cushion is a lot thicker than it looks it goes down about three more inches underneath what you can see it's a pretty thick cushion uh, over back here in the front port side is the AC control panel, and I guess i got to swing this around here so you can see it has amp meter and, uh, and voltmeter, which is nice. Right in that cubby right now is also where the navigation system is hanging out. Uh, behind all of these, I'm not going to open them up because there's a lot of them, but uh, there's a ton of storage. Every place where you think there might be a, an opening, uh, you can put something in it. And it's usually a pretty nicely designed cover, too. Two-sided table. You can swing the leaves up or leave them down like I have them now. Um, we'll probably leave one side up and leave the other one open so it's easier to walk around. But uh, at the moment, I have them both down so it's easier to move around. Again, tons more storage. Lots and lots of storage. Every one of these compartments has stuff in it. There's a control for the air conditioning unit. Yeah, it has air conditioning, which is kind of nice. Uh, there's this neat little gadget down here that Paul and Marie built. It's a wine storage area, so your wine bottles don't go crashing all over the place. Quite thoughtful. There is a diesel heater. Uh, Paul could never get it to work to his satisfaction. I don't know if I'll try it. Maybe someday. Not today. Moving forward, we have a pretty simple head. Ta da! Neat little uh, pull out sink. Almost needs two hands to open, but. And that has another foot pump, which I'm not going to do right now because it's hard for me to get to with the camera here. But, nice little sink. Stow securely. There's a medicine cabinet decorated with cut glass by Marie. The forward compartment is a sizable V-berth. Uh, sorry, we kind of have a sheet on this right now just because we were testing this out to see how it worked. But again, tons and tons of storage everywhere you can think of, including this little thingy up here, is open for storage. There are two Dorade vents. Uh, they open up here into the V-berth with these nice little push-open vents. Uh, up front is, a chain, is the chain locker. And again, tons and tons of storage. Under every one of these things is more storage. There is, let me see if I can get to it here. Whee! There's a nice little 
vanity. The lift up lid thing. It's kind of nice. Nice little mounted mirror. Separating the head and the V berth is a curtain, which saves a lot of room. Uh, lots of boats around this size try to have doors because people like doors, but they just tend to get in the way. There's another hanging locker up here. Currently it contains the spinnaker. Uh, Paul said when they are usually using the boat, they take this out and stuff it back next to the engine. Uh, and that's probably what we'll do too. But for right now, that's a good spot for it. Keeps it out of the way. Lots of hatches. Uh, let's see, one in the V-berth. This one here in the center. There's three in the salon. One over the nav desk, one over the galley, and one over the table. And I think that's about it. We're pretty happy though. Some AC lighting in here for when you're on shore, have shore power. And there's a bunch of, I don't know if I show, there's a bunch of little DC lights in here too. So there she is. That's the interior of the pinniped. Uh, we're pretty happy. Have not had a chance to take her out yet uh, from our dock on our own, but hopefully we'll get uh, hopefully we'll get her out pretty soon. So that's it. Uh, we'll do some. I'll show the cockpit and the outside here uh, in just a little bit.